Let's give it up for green energy. That's what I'm really into. All right. So my name is Patrick Johnston. I'm a BSU graduate. I'm a mechanical engineer and a founder of Green Speed Research, where one of the things I do is actually build green race cars. The first race car we built, we actually did when I was still in college, and it races at the Bonneville Salt Flats. Here it is. As you can see, it's really big, it's really flat, and it's a great place for land speed racing. Bonneville is iconic for pushing things faster and really proving its place in the world. This is the arena a group of students decided they wanted to set a new renewable energy land speed record. So a student club called Green Speed was born. Everybody knows you use vegetable oil to cook with. We do that practically every day. But did you also know you can use vegetable oil to power a diesel engine? In fact, the first diesel engine, <clears throat> oh, there we go, actually ran on peanut oil over 120 years ago. Today you will find that vegetable oil isn't a very good fuel in a modern engine because it's like crude oil. You wouldn't put crude oil in your gas tank and expect good results. Well, the vegetable oil is no different. But vegetable oil and other biomasses can be refined <clears throat> into, uh, or sorry, vegetable oil and um, biomasses can be refined into biodiesel and ethanols, and it's a direct, sustainable replacement for petroleum. So with that in mind, we decided we wanted to set a new record for vegetable oil and show that something in its weakest and most limited form could really set the, heart, or the bar high and set new records. So basically what we did is we took a, oh, <clears throat> we took an old pickup truck drove it into our shop and tore it down to the frame. We analyzed every aspect of it and what we need to do to set a new record. So we um, got a powerful diesel engine, modified the engine bay so we could fit it in there, built a roll cage, and in two and a half months, we'd actually collected over 70 sponsors, supplying us with all the critical components to build a record-breaking vehicle. And you know, here's us at our shop. We actually found ourselves at the Bonneville Salt Flats. So on the last hour of the last day, we were, finally had our turn to go race. At the close of the event, we had a licensed driver and a licensed vehicle, and we just couldn't wait for the next event. Unfortunately, both remaining events got rained out at Bonneville, but we were lucky enough to find ourselves in El Mirage, California to go attempt a record. So we saw the truck zip off from the start line and towards the finish, and it left in a cloud of dust. We waited suspensefully as we heard over the loudspeaker, green speed, vehicle 1337, exit speed 155 miles per hour. In our first year, we had already broke the previous record by over 150%. Here's us celebrating after this. So, people were amazed what we had done. We found ourselves in the New York Times, USA Today, and dozens of other media news outlets and print magazines. And whenever we talked to somebody, it was one common reaction. It was just, whoa, wait, what did you do? This was a real pivotal moment for me because I realized that green race cars can actually change people's perceptions about renewable energy, especially the doubters. When they kick a tire of a green vehicle, it changes their mindset completely. So that was one of my first big pivot, or excuse me, the second big pivot in my life that got me to where I am today. The first happened some time earlier. Here's a picture of me when I was in high school, or cartoon version rather. I was very bored. I didn't see any reason for what I was learning in school because I'm a very hands-on person. So. I'd be sitting in my math class, and a slide would come up of a triangle. And I'd be told, because I know two of the sides and one of the angles, thanks to trigonometry, I know all the other relations of that triangle. Well, that didn't matter much to me, because I didn't see its application. Luckily, a teacher saw potential in me, though, and encouraged me to join FIRST Robotics. So now, all of a sudden, that triangle I didn't care about actually had great application, and it allowed us to build a very competitive robot we ended up taking fourth place and won Rookie Team of the Year for the Northwest region, which isn't too bad for our first year out. This led me to wanting to learn more, and eventually on to college. And no, I'm not talking about Animal House Party College or anything. I actually really dedicated and applied myself, and I came out a changed person. It was a lot of fun. So that hands-on learning experience is crucial. So about that company I mentioned at the beginning, Green Speed Research. It's actually a local nonprofit, and its mission is to educate about renewable energy and the STEM disciplines by demonstrating them through motorsports. So we do two things. First, we build green race cars. These are technology demonstrators for different renewable energy. The second is to get people of all ages involved in their own hands-on STEM-based learning. Here you can see a bunch of solar go-karts. There's actually one out in the auditorium, or excuse me, out there as well, which you can check out afterwards. This is a 100% student designed, built, and raced solar-powered go-kart. And yes, they are a lot of fun to drive. <laughs> so. 
In closing, I'd just like to bring up change, because this is Ignite the Change after all. So for me, I love renewable energy, and I love the STEM fields. But something that kind of bothers me is there's a real lack of embrace for renewable energy. And there's not a lot of opportunities for young people. I'd like to see more opportunity for them to have a hands-on learning experience like I did. It literally changed my life. So when something bothers you, you have two options. The first thing is you can just tolerate it, endure it, and pretend it's not there, but that's no good. The second thing you can do is you can go out and change it. So I have chosen to do the latter. What do you want to change? Thank you.